My name is Swapna Haddo and I am a children's author. My story heroes as a child were characters that took me on adventures, quite like Alice from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. She had the most extraordinary dream and I think I quite relate to her because actually my name in Telugu means dreams, so Swapna means dreams. Um, so I was used to daydreaming a lot and I quite related to that and I loved the adventure she went on. So any characters that took me on an adventure uh, were my heroes. My favourite writer at the moment is probably Shana Jackson. So she writes the um, high rise mystery books. Um, I find her writing so exciting and accessible. Um, and these are the kinds of books that I start reading, I just can't put down and I'm reading them late into the night. In 2021, I am really looking forward to reading Alice and Emily Hayworth Booth's book, Protest. Now the book is a non-fiction book um, depicting the history of peaceful protests. And there's a section at the end which is all about what we can do if we're really passionate about something and we decide that we want to protest about it. I think it's a wonderful book, it's really relevant for the times. And Emily, um, who wrote The Last Tree, is one of my favourite uh, author illustrators at the moment. My top three tips for storytelling are Always keep a notebook by your bedside. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've had the best ideas just as I'm drifting off to sleep, convinced myself I will remember those ideas um, and then completely forgotten it by the morning. So always keep a notebook by your bedside because you'll get brilliant ideas and you just have to scribble down little notes quickly so you can drift off into sleep and then when you wake up in the morning you'll see your notes and be like, yes, I remember that brilliant idea. Um, my second tip is read, 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 read really widely, um, even read books that you maybe don't think are for you. Um, even if you start a book and put it down, that's okay, but just read lots because it will help you find what you want to say with your voice and it will help you develop um, what kind of stories you want to tell. And my third tip is just write. Um, no one's going to write the story for you, so you just have to sit down, get the words on the page and start writing. And don't worry if that first draft looks really messy. Every single writer has a messy first draft. Um, you can always go back and change things. So just sit down, get some words on the page and go for it. Mm -hmm.